Okay, welcome back. My next guest started writing songs when he was only eight years old. And by the time he was 13, he was writing music with his guitar. And his influences include John Mayer, B.B. King, Eric Clapton, along with many other amazing guitarists. And now he's making a name for himself with his hit song, Freedom. If you don't know how to let it go, get lost in time, what you had planned. But it's good to know how. To run away, found in the wind, toes in the sand. But when I and welcome via Skype, Eric Dash. Hi, Eric. How are you? What's going on? How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing terrific, man. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, love it. Love oh, it. Love listen, I, I've, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I've watched that, that video about at least five times. And every time I watched it, no, honestly, and I, every time I watch it, I felt more in love with that song than, than ever before. So I'm, I'm gonna say, man, it was really well written and really thought out. It, it, it touched a lot of um, emotions for me. Uh, so so tell, me, tell me what got you to, to write Freedom. Um, well, Freedom is, uh was a concept that I was writing about. It was more, you know, you feel kind of enclosed and anxious sometimes, uh, especially in like music. Um, and it's difficult to have freedom. Uh, yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry, the, the video started. Yeah, no, the no, we're, we're, we're trying to get more of a feel for your video. So go ahead, finish uh, your thought. Okay. Yeah, well, either way, it was just, it was just, you know, the thing that was really just, I wanted to write something that people could relate to and understand that they're not alone, you know, and uh, that there are many different types of freedom and there are uh, many different enclosures in life and, it, and it's good to break free and feel like you are um, just okay for a moment. Mm. So uh, I understand that you have got an event coming up on the 29th of March with the, um, the, it's the Leukemia and the Lymphoma Society. Yes. So, so yeah. I, I believe there's a, um, a connection between that event and, and the song Freedom. Can you explain for our viewers a little bit what that connection is? Well, you know, uh, when, I, when they were open to having me play for them, which I'm very grateful for, uh, I thought that Freedom was a really good connection for that because, you know, I, you know my father had a stroke and, and, and I, I have a friend that has lymphoma. And, you know, I thought that Freedom, like I said, it was kind of ambiguous. Um, and it can work in many different ways. It's not just, uh, you know, you know, you're working a dead end job or, or just, you're not happy with a relationship or whatever, whatever it be. Um, so I thought that it would really fit nicely, uh, for that society. And those people are searching for freedom in their own right. Hmm. So, um, I understand that obviously we, I don't know if you've been touring it out or you're planning on touring, but I, I can see from the screen that you're, you're pretty healthy. To me, it looks like you're pretty fit. Is, is there a certain uh, healthy regimen that you go through when you're either touring or when you're uh, doing some events? Tell us a little bit about what, what is it that you do to keep in shape? Yeah, lifestyle, that's what this is about, right? Uh, <laughs> so I, I like to, um, you know, I try to go to the gym at least, at least, um, uh, you know, four times a week. Um, but besides for that, uh, I definitely try to eat healthy. Um, you know, I have a juice and a coffee in the morning and that gets me going and that makes me feel better about, you know, like that's enough of, energy. Uh, I actually have my juice right here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, but besides for that, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not trying to bug them, but Barry's boot camp, they, they, they kick your, they kick your butt. So, uh, <laughs> it's, uh just do what I can to make myself feel better. All right. Um, tell me a little bit live at Eric's. Is this some, is that, is that, is it a show? Is it, a, tell me a little bit about what <laughs> it is. Live at Eric's is, is a funny thing. I, 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 I was playing around. I've been on a couple tours. You know, it's 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 been fun, and I do plan on touring, um, probably like around summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, but until then, a lot of uh, venues are pay to play. You have to bring forty people, and you have to bring that amount of people. And if you don't, then they won't book you again. And that's how a lot of Los Angeles is. Uh, so I started live at Eric's just for friends that are really great that that people don't know just for someone to just like go and play and that are, they're wonderful. So uh, 
it was more of a community kind of thing, and I just did it for like a one night thing, and my house was packed, um, mm-hmm. and I kept on doing it. So like the second one, I, that's I guess why I have a Christmas tree behind me because it was like the <laughs> ugly, it was the ugly sweater party, uh, and I was just too lazy and procrastinating. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but that's what that's what Live at Eric's is. It's just an, it became an industry event. There's like a bunch of uh, great talented producers that come and managers that come and label people have been there and A and R people have been there and it's just and and everybody's just friends. It wasn't like a it's right. very comfortable environment. Right. So we got about thirty seconds left. Just tell me what some of the things we need to look forward to. Any any plans? Any projects coming up that you'd like to share with us? Or oh yeah, uh, I've got new music coming out. Uh, in May area, May time, and I'm really pumped for that. Uh, definitely finding my niche, and uh, I'm also producing other artists. So, and they're going to be coming out around then. So I'm going to have uh, a lot of music coming around it around April, May. Okay. So you guys are shooting a bunch for me. Wow, that's awesome. Listen, Eric, thank you so much for spending some time with us, and uh, lots of luck to you, and all the best, you know, and I'll keep watching for you. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're welcome. It. Take care. Okay, guys, still to come, from Bluetooth trackers to delicious gluten-free treats. Ahead, I share some of my favorite must-have items when Healthy Lifestyle returns after the break. Now that you've seen, smile, smile.